guys, it's Coffee, and today I am back with another video. I am actually going over the build items, and I might actually do a little bit of gameplay depending how long it takes to go over the build items. If not, I will split it into a third video, but I think I'm really going to try to just do the two because three videos on one little like stuff pack seems kind of like a lot. And you guys will get to see this stuff in game as I play, it, especially in the Hunter Baby Challenge. So um, anyways, you guys might recognize this house and this family. This is the Vanderbilt family from my old get together series that I'm pretty sure is being discontinued mostly because I just didn't really enjoy the get together expansion very much but I might bring this family back in like the next expansion or something because they're just like really family oriented they don't want to go out and club you know I kind of like designed the wrong family for that LP so anyways I thought it'd be fun to bring them in because they do have the three triplets so um yeah let's go ahead we're gonna take a look at the build items sorry i was making sure my my uh my game music was working because it was just like really quiet but um, i'm gonna go ahead and open up build mode we're gonna get rid of this freaking grid because i just figured out how to do that and we're gonna go ahead and filter out these items um to kids room stuff okay so yeah let's go ahead i'm gonna go ahead and look at these first these three items down here because i accidentally missed them like i tried to record this episode once already and was like nope i need to teach myself a few more things first before i can do that so um first and foremost it looks like we got this really cool looking bed and it comes in all of these fun colors oh my gosh they are so freaking great love it okay i love this bed but my one complaint would probably be that it is is a only a four energy and a discomfort relief one which i think you can get like much better beds so that's a little bit of a bummer but i still really like it and then we also got this sectional little piece it's just a chair but if you use like testing cheats and move objects you could probably get this to be an actual sectional if you wanted to because they don't actually connect like if i place one and then i try to place another they don't interlay interlock together which is a huge bummer in my opinion but i still really like the chairs i think they're super pretty um and then we also got this office chair which looks like this oh sorry i clicked a little faster that one um yeah standard office chair i like it it's cute comes in lots of fun colors okay let's scroll back up to the top so we also got this hippopotamus it's an ottoman <laughs> let me get a little closer to this actually so it looks like this comes in colors and i really like that the it has the little like storage bins i think my favorite one is probably the all white one i could see that in a baby nursery easily and i know it's like more for children and not babies but still i could see that being in a nursery being really cute uh we also got kind of like a matching end table it's not matching but i bet you it comes in a lot of the same colors yep at least there's the white for sure okay so we got another end table with some storage which is really cute and then we also got a desk which i think out of the furniture items the desk was probably one of the pieces that i was most excited about because i don't know i like i like desks what can i say i work from home for a living i make videos i like desks <laughs> um i definitely am a little disappointed that there aren't more solid like all wood finishes to this like they're all colorful but they're for kids so it would make sense that they would do that um I, I am gonna say like I'm gonna disclaimer this while we're going over it that I <clears throat> I, I definitely so far have been impressed by this pack at least with the clothing but I don't really understand why and I know I'm gonna sound like a broken record and everybody that has different opinions on this is going to be like, oh my gosh, Chloe, shut up. But I, this is my one problem with this pack. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> I'm dying. <laughs> maybe that, maybe that's the world telling me not to say it. But my one problem with this pack is uh, I don't understand why, if the Sims team is working to give us more lifespans, why they would give us a pack based on kids before giving us those lifespans. And I'm not even talking about toddlers. I'm talking about like preteens as well, which has been rumored to be a thing potentially. I just, it feels like they should have maybe waited on this and they could have done something a little bit more expanded on kids. But that's just my personal opinion. So I'm, that's 
yeah, that's my like only qualm, I would say. But I know the Sims team works really hard and I don't know what it takes. You know, I think that comes from Urban Sims and my good friend Angelia. I have no idea what it takes to make a game. If I did, I'd be out there doing it. And it might be a lot harder than we think. And maybe that's why they haven't given us those yet. But I know from the live stream, the toddlers thing came up so many times and people were so upset. So, um, you know. So everybody, let's just try to be patient and be grateful for what we've got. So <clears throat> that's, those are my, that's my two cents there. And let's just keep on going. So it looks like this is, oh my gosh, something is in my throat and I'm dying. I don't know what's wrong with me. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> okay. So this is Sarah's scrapbook shelf and it looks like it's just this cute little adorable shelf. I like this one with the planet picture. I think that's cute. There's a kitty cat, a dog, a dog, a pig. Um, and of course, all of the items on it and things change. I think that's very pretty. This, I really, really, really like this next one. I saw this in the stream. I'm actually going to go over here and put this up so you guys can see. So we also got this, which you could actually put things in this shelf, which I think is so amazing. I love anything that's kind of got that honeycomb style to it because my husband loves bees. And by association, I also love bees. So yeah, I'm all about these shelves. I will definitely use them. Oh my gosh, and now I have the hiccups. Something is like, I'm just not meant to record today. That's what I get for saying what I said. <laughs> um, I try to be honest with these things though, you guys. Like I really will tell you how I feel and I'll tell you if I think the pack is worth it or not. Okay, so then we got this. What is this? Wait, this is Bosley Big Bot Big Bot. Um, Okay, some kind of wall decal. It's cool. I could see this in a boy's room. Ooh, I liked that teal one. Or a girl's room. You could do it in a girl's room too. Um, I think it looks really cool though. We also got some little pictures. Ooh, I like these. The little fairies. I wonder, oh, are those Sims 3 fairies? Wait, go back. Okay, so we got some others too, but no. <sighs> Guys, I wonder if this is like... I wonder if this is like like spoilers kind of like I wonder if they're hinting at something or maybe they're not you know I think everybody as a simmer and people that play the sims in the community well, I guess you're simmers too I shouldn't say it like that but as simmers I think we do that a lot we read between the lines and try to be like oh my gosh maybe they're doing this which sometimes I think that is true but not always sometimes I think we all read a little too hard but you never know this could be maybe they're working on like supernatural and we don't even know it but this is cute. Little posters. Looks like we also got some decals that are... Oh, you can't flip between these. Okay. Oh, so they're all different. Okay. So these come from the some of the gameplay that you guys will see in a few moments here. But these are little decals that match this game that your kids can play. I really like this. I think this one is probably my favorite one. This one or the seahorse. Or what? what is he? He's not a seahorse. He's a water void critter so they're void critters that's what it's called but it's kind of they didn't say it in the stream probably because they can't is what i imagine but um they kind of are like pokemon <laughs> but in the sims for your kids which i think is genius and i'm really excited to show you guys what it looks like so then it looks like we got this which this is really cute i don't even think this would be just for kids you could put this in like a house too like out in the living room or something you know super cute we also got this poster which is again the void characters also very cute um and there's just one we also got these oh i like these <gasps> i love these Ooh, i like these a lot i like especially like i like the floral one but i really like these dark this one and the last one i really like how much the colors really pop out um, and then we got this, which I think is super pretty. Oh, so cute. So cute. So cute. <gasps> I love the space one. The space theme room. And there's a beach one. Again, I think some of the wall pieces, which I'm very happy about, could work in more than just a kid's room. Looks like we also got this cute mirror. And it's got different things on it. Okay, so there's a floral one. And then there's the one with the stickers. And it looks like they just come in a bunch of different wood colors. Oh, and you can get them plain. That's nice. Let me go back to that. Yeah, I like that they did plain ones too. That's super nice of them. Okay, and then we also got these, which, oh, these are beautiful. Oh my gosh, let me do those. Oh my gosh, they come in so many colors, you guys. Okay, we definitely want it. I'm gonna do rainbow, I have to. Okay, and let me put the ones that go on like the reverse. 
you guys. I'm literally dying. I think this is my favorite wall piece that I've seen. Oh my gosh. Yep, I'm not even taking that down. That's so pretty. Okay, and then we have a framed jersey, it looks like, that's signed. Comes in lots of colors. That's cool. Uh, we also... Oh. We also got this. Oh, trophies. How cute. Got a little trophy shelf for your kids sporting needs. Uh, we also got some room dividers, which I hope they gave us plain ones of these two. I think they did. So we got some room dividers if your kids are sharing rooms, which I think are really cool. I wonder if let me actually flip this. No. OK, I was going to say, I wonder if they have them like different on the sides like one side could be for like one girl and then one side could be for like a boy or two girls or two boys whatever and like each side would be decorated towards that child but sadly no but i'm sure we could figure out a way to edit that in with the uh, move objects on and then it looks like we got some plain wood colors which i'm very happy about um and then we also got this one that has some clothes slung over it as well but it's the same but i still like it super cute uh, we also, oh, this I love too. I'm going to leave this one up too. We also got this, which is like basically lights, like string lights with pictures on them. So cute, you guys. So cute, so cute, so cute, so cute. Love it. I will definitely use that too. Okay, and then we also got Kulala Bear. Born from a freak accident involving a Kulala and a jelly bean in the cloning machine at the future Sim Labs, Kulala Bears have become famous for their nasty disposition despite their adorable appearance. Sims have learned that such creatures are better observed, not held. So, Kulala, I think this might be what the monster is that comes out under the bed. I'm not really sure though. But Kulala... Do you only come in one color? Hold on, let's, let's, I might have done that wrong, my bad. Nope, Kulala comes in lots of colors, so cute. I like this one <laughs> and the yellow one, cute. Okay, and then we also got a little robot, it looks like, kind of like that decal, it matches. And it comes in lots of fun colors. And then we got, is this a trash? What are you? Wait, what? Blah, blah. Introducing the right size thimble, a trash can. Oh, it's a trash can. Okay. I was like, what? So it's like a kid trash can to match their room. Oh, these are cute. That's actually really cool. I don't know if we've ever had one of these. I don't know if we had, like, we had, like, those little waste baskets in The Sims 3, I believe, like the really short ones for the kitchen, but I don't know if we actually had room waste baskets. So that's really, really cool. Okay. It looks like we also got a new clock. Looks like the, ooh, I like that ombre one. <gasps> oh, this one's probably my favorite, the ombre. It's like a white to pink. Okay, and then we also got, this one says it's a TV stand, but it looks a lot like that other media stand type thing that we had. But I think that one had a cushion on top. That one was like an ottoman. So then there's this one as well. Um, I like this. I like this for a TV especially. Um, and then it looks like we got some, oh my gosh. Okay, I love this. I love this. <gasps> I love the cream colored ones. Sorry, I'm nerding out right now. Ooh, that lavender one was pretty too. Okay, I love that. Absolutely adore. <gasps> I love this too. I just love the colors that they put into the shelves. Like this is like what my bookshelf would look like if I had one. <laughs> well, I, I do I have bookshelves? I do, but they're really shrimpy and I need more. Um, but this is super cute. I love this. <laughs> And then it looks like we also got, wait, what did that say? What did you say? I saw the puppet theater. Oh, apparently you can have a puppet theater in here, but it's just a wardrobe. Oh, look, you have like one with pictures, one without. That's really cute. So, oh, I love the lavender. I'm definitely doing a girl room in lavender. Like so cute. Okay. I'm geeking out a little bit. Okay. And then we also have a traveling trunk. Uh, this is cool. I wonder, wonder if this does something. Can you open this? This traveling trunk now decommissioned lives out in the remainder of its days. It's a chest for toys. Yeah, it's a chest for toys. Okay, so it's just like another one of those little chests for toys. That's cute. I like it. Um, this is the thing I was talking about with the card game. So we got lots of colors for these to play our little uh, void critters, which like I said, is kind of like Pokemans. <laughs> um, and then this is the puppet theater, which this is something you guys will see in a minute where you can actually put on shows, which I think is really cool. So, okay, we're going to just place this one right now, or maybe we should place it. We're going to place this because I actually want to have an area uh, to do this so we can show some of this gameplay off. 
So... Hopefully they can... I don't... Hmm. I think that would block the door, so I'm going to not do that. Okay, I'm just going to put it there. That should help. Wait, will they be able to get back there? Okay, that's what we'll do. Okay, so puppet theater. I will show you guys that in a minute. And then we also have blast off lighting. This lamp has an incredibly unique feature, no power cord. So how does it manage to cast light? A miniature micro combustion rocket engine. Oh gosh, sounds like it's going to kill us. Oh, it's so cute. I wasn't expecting it to be little. <laughs> Let's get a little closer to that actually. Oh, it is so cute. That's adorable. It's a little lamp. Okay, and then we also have DIY paper lanterns. Ooh. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so these go on the ceiling. These are so cute. You guys, that lavender theme is literally slaying me. Like, I I think I need to, like, do a girl room build or something. Because it's literally owning. And I, it's, it's just too cute. I just can't handle it. I can't even handle it. Okay, so we got those cute lights. Is that everything? I think. So, that is everything from kids' rooms. So, um, let's go ahead and get some gameplay going up here. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop one of these down in this room so we can actually play. Um, was there any other items that were actually, like, you could play with? I want to say those were the only two. So, I'm going to go ahead and go back to live mode. And first... Uh, I'm going to have the kids because apparently you can have the kids look for discarded toys and they should be able to find these void critter cards if you do that. And you can look in trash cans and you can look inside logs. So you have to wait for, not wait, you have to look for logs as well. Uh, there might be something back here. Oh. No, oh, here's another trash. Okay, so we'll have him look. We'll have her come check this one. And we'll have her come check this one. Okay, so hopefully they will find something. And then we'll be able to bring them home. So let me show you what that looks like. So we're going to... We're going to send our little kiddo James Vanderbilt over here to come and dig inside this trash can. Wow, that's really something, James. Okay, I uh, found a discarded toy. Okay, that's all you found. Can I? Can we do it one more time? She didn't find anything. Madeline didn't find anything. Uh, go home, Madeline. Yes, oh, he yes, found Yes, Marguerite, okay, so my go bae. And open this. Oh, he found the same card. Well, that's garbage. That's okay. Everybody go to your home. Okay. Oh, this creepy old stranger is talking to you. Don't talk to him. Go home. Okay. So, being that sadly Madeline didn't find anything, we're going to have Madeline come and perform a puppet show. We're going to do that first. So, we'll have her perform. No, no, no. Oh, wait, no. Yeah. We'll have her do search for the notebook snatcher, and we're going to perform it. For all of them, I guess, but James. And we'll see what happens. Okay, here we go. Please sit. Oh. Oh, no, they can't sit. Okay, I was like, can they not sit? Because... Oh, it's so cute. Okay, so that's adorable. They can perform little shows. And it looks like... Um, I wanted to see what their reactions were like. Are you bored? What's wrong with you? Oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Oh, she thinks it's funny. Seems like they do a lot of detective puppet shows. I saw one in the live stream as well. And there's always that magnifying glass. Oh, look, there's the detective again. So there's that's kind of like the little puppet show. Do we get any kind of boost for that? Feeling happy. Okay. So while that's going on, I'm going to actually send James over here to train his card. I'm going to have him train his card. So he'll probably win the battle against his sister because he's going to be in here training and his sister's not. <laughs> 
So let's see what happens. So you put the card in and it's like this crazy, oh, he's, he's fighting Freezer Bunny. How nice. We're actually gonna fast forward through this. Is there any action? No, okay, we can't do anything while it's going on. We just have to. Man, those puppet shows last forever. I don't even... Oh! Wait. What just happened? What just happened? Okay, so now he's a power level 2. So, we're going to have him battle his critter against his sister, Marguerite. Because she is the only other one who has the card. Oh, why are you sad? James was a little sad. Okay, so now we're going to battle our two same cards. Can you watch? Can you come? Yeah, she can come watch the battle. Okay. Oh, snap. So basically you can level up your cards and then you can actually battle them against others and you can collect more cards and like I said, it's kind of like they made Pokemon. <laughs> so let's go ahead and we're going to fast forward this just to see who wins because these take a while. I don't know if anyone will win since they're playing the same character, but James's was a higher level. So you would think, you know? Is this like an inconclusive battle? Like, oh. Okay, so there is like an ultimate attack at the end. So who won? Does it not tell me? Oh, she's angry because she got wrecked. Okay, so she did lose. And James is sad because he's lonely, even though he's been playing with his sister for the last like several hours. Void Critter Victor. James brought his A game and walked away a winner. Um, it doesn't, I didn't actually see, oh, broke a leg. Well, not literally, of course. Madeline put on a wonderful puppet, puppet performance. So you do get really, like, you do get little buffs and stuff. But anyways, you guys, I think that's going to conclude this part of the kids room stuff. So please let me know in the comment section down below what you think. I think final conclusion for this, I'm going to say I would skip it. I mean, I'm definitely still going to use some of these items. And I think this is actually the first stuff pack that I've ever felt this way about. But I, to me, it just wasn't worth it. It's, I mean, it is only $10. To me, that's not a lot. But I know to some of you guys, it might be that are younger that maybe don't have jobs or can't have a job because you are younger or in school. But to me, I would say that this one is definitely a pass. I mean, the clothes were cute. But like, if you don't use custom content, this is probably a really good pack for you for clothing items and stuff. Um, I definitely like some of the room decor, but I don't love it. And I think the two major gameplay things that were added just aren't that exciting. Like I might use this, this card game thing once, and then I'll probably walk away from it and never use it again, because I just can't see with every kid going around collecting all these cards, leveling up all these cards. Like I just, it's not something that really fascinates me. Um, I don't think it's a bad pack. I just, for my personality and what I like to do in the games, it's not really marketed towards someone like me. So for me, I would say pass it, but you know, you guys can make your own judgments based on what you've seen. And, um, please don't forget guys to follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. I am at coffee YT. This is coffee signing off. Hey guys, it's Chloe. And today I'm really excited. I am actually going to be sharing my latest reads and then basically my current TBR, which I know like everybody's TBR is a mile long if you like to read. So I'm just going to be showing you the books that I plan to read basically in that stack or the ones that I plan to read next. So without further ado, let's go ahead and first go over the books that I have read. So the last episode...